Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a five looks, one palette video with another Pat McGrath Mothership palette. This time we are going to be doing the Pat McGrath Mothership number four, which is called the Decadence palette. This video is extra exciting because this is the ninth palette in my Pat McGrath Mothership collection. This was the last palette I needed to get to have every single Mothership palette to date and of course I have done a five looks one palette video with each one of my mothership palettes so I had to do a five looks one palette video with this one as well. This was the last palette I got because it was the one that I was the least interested in. It doesn't have not one matte shade and it also doesn't have any Astro Blitz shades. I feel like what makes mothership palettes truly special is a perfect combination of shimmers, mattes and Astro Blitz shades because I feel like the Pat McGrath Astro Blitz shades make everything extra shiny and glittery and glorious and glamorous and having a contrast with matte shades it makes for really multi-dimensional eye looks plus Pat McGrath mattes in my opinion are really amazing because you can get a very intense color to blend out into like a crease shade which I find fascinating and with this one I basically was like all shimmers no mattes, no Astro Blitz shades, WTF, you know? <laughs> this right here, as you can see, is what the palette looks like. And it's taken me a while to make this video because I'm like, I don't know how creative I can get with all shimmer shades without having any mattes to give the looks a little bit more dimension or any like extra glittery shades or anything. So I've had the palette for like over a month now and I'm just getting to doing some looks with it. With that said, I'm about to show you my five looks. I've only done one so far. Maybe by look number five, I've changed my mind. And if that's the case, of course, I will let you know. But I was a little bit disappointed when I started playing with it this morning. I'm not going to lie. Do I like this look that I'm wearing? Yes, I actually quite like it. But... I don't know, I feel like if there was a matte in there or like an extra sparkly shade, it would be even better, which is what the rest of the Pat McGrath palettes provide me with. Um, let's just go ahead and start with the first look and I will tell you guys my final thoughts after I do all five of them. To begin the first look, I'm grabbing the color Enigma on my refer number 15 brush and I'm going to use this one as my crease color slash transition shade. And as you can see, it is very, very glowy. So so I'm just going to diffuse it all over the crease of my eye, back and forth. And I'm adding a little bit more on the outer V right here, back and forth with my fluffy brush. To darken things up, I'm grabbing the color Divine Mink on a refer number one. And I'm going to put it all over my eyelid. With the tip of the brush, I'm mixing it into our first shade, transition shade. And we just want to have a nice saturated eyelid. And I really like how this color, it's like a dark pewter with like a purple undertone it's really pretty and then with my refer number 28 and the color sterling i'm going to light up the inner corner of the eye and the inner part of the eyelid and just mix it into the rest of the shades. Back with my refer number one and whatever remainings of Divine Mink it has, I'm just, you know, making sure that the colors are blended nicely into one another. All right, so that's simple. This is the top of look number one. Let me put some makeup on and I'll be right back to finish it up. Back with some makeup on and to finish it up, I'm first going to smoke out the outer half of my eyelid here. So this is my bedroom black eyeliner and I'm just kind of dragging it across back here very very lightly and then with my refer number three brush I'm just smoking that out back and forth right here and that just added a little bit more depth to my lash line I did go ahead and also use that same eyeliner in my waterline and I tight line with it a little bit so let's finish up the look I grabbed the color divine mink on my refer number 13 brush and I'm going to just smoke Smudge it back and forth across my lower lash line, back and forth down here, and make it meet right here at the end with the top. And then with that same brush and a little bit of the color Enigma, I'm just going to blend that out. A little bit more sterling on the inner corner of the eye right here. This is my refer number 28 brush. And this is pretty much the first look. Let me go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to show you the final results. Okay, here you go, back with mascara and lashes on. And this right here is the final first look with my mothership number four 
Flower palette. Super nice and smoky, very metallic all over, which is what you're going to see in every single look in this video because there are no mattes in this palette. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section and let's move on to look number two. Let's begin the second look with the color Inferno and I'm using my refer number one brush and I'm going to just back and forth put it on the crease of my eye. Usually I start with the refer number 15 which, which is a thicker, fluffier brush but I decided after having played with this palette a couple of times already that because all of the colors are super, super glow I'm going to not use that big brush because I can control it better with the refer number one because it's a little bit more pinched. And so back and forth with the color Inferno, I'm just blending the outer corner of the eye as well and the crease. I think I'm about to butcher this name, but I'm going in with the color Lapis Luxury. Maybe that's the name of it. And I'm going to, with the refer number one brush, I'm putting it on the inner part of my crease right here, blending it into the first color we put on. And it's a really beautiful shimmery teal color. I wiped off my brush a little bit and I'm going to soften the edges. I'm truly not sure exactly what I'm going to do with my eye, but this is what I'm going with. So. Let's just keep going and see if I like it. Otherwise, I'll just start over. Switch to my refer number 14 and the color Underworld. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye and flick it up and out back here. And I know it looks a little messy right now, but when I do the under eye, hopefully it'll kind of tie it together. So I'm just going to blend it in halfway through the eyelid here. And I actually just switched to my refer number two so that I can have a little bit more precision. Okay. In order to see my vision a little better, I'm going to clean right underneath my eye here because when things start getting messy, I start hating the look and then I can't keep going. So I'm just going to clean up right underneath here. Okay, so this is what things are looking like right here. And now I'm going in with my Makeup by Mario Mixing Medium. I'm going to add a couple of drops of it to the color Sterling. I am scared, but here we go. I have my refer number 29 brush and I'm going to use sterling with my mixing medium through my crease here and flick it up. I basically focused on making the top edge really nice and crisp and the bottom edge looks a little messy but that's okay we're gonna fix it because I'm going to take some makeup off. Okay so I have a little bit of makeup remover on my cotton swab and I'm going to clean the bottom edge. I know this is not the type of look that you guys are using to from me but I felt like I had to get creative with this palette because I'm not inspired by it to be completely honest and so I felt like doing something like this I would actually just do something different that I liked and that would inspire me you know so I'm cleaning the bottom edge see what do you guys think I think that looks really cute okay let's keep going now I'm going to do a little bit of eyelid primer right there the one I'm using is the one from Natasha Denona and I'm going to clean up with the primer right underneath my shadow liner thing and I'm using my refer number 21 brush. With the refer number 13 and a little bit more lapis luxury, I'm intensifying this top crease situation here underneath the brow. This is actually turning out really cute. Let me keep going. With my refer number 14 and a little bit more of the color Inferno, I am back and forth making sure that it didn't disappear from here. And I grabbed some of the color Gold Standard and I'm going to put it on the empty space I left on my eyelid here. Alrighty, just adding some of that gold shade on the eyelid. I added a drop of the Makeup by Mario Mixing Medium to the color Underworld and I grabbed a different eyeliner brush. This one is from Bobbi Brown and I'm going to intensify this winged eyeliner back here. I know I'm doing the most over here and the only thing I think I kind of regret is the gold on the eyelid because everything else I really like but then that's like a little bit too contrasting. I think I would have rather skipped it. I couldn't stop hating on my eye look when I turned off the camera and so what I basically did was I just took off the gold. I didn't like the gold and I reprimed the space in between where the gold was with the Natasha Denona primer and now I think I'm just going back with the color Inferno and my refer number 14 and I'm just going to bring it all the way in. I just don't think we needed another color on this eye look and I think I'm going to like this better. So this is the color Inferno and I'm just bringing 
bring it all the way in and I'm using the refer number 14 because it's small enough but it also blends things really nicely and I'm putting it all throughout the center of my eye here okay for sure I like this so much better I'm going to now for real put makeup around my eye and I'll be right back and we'll finish this up alrighty I am back I have some makeup around my eyeball like I promised and let's just keep going I'm going to use the color underworld on the tip of my refer number 13 and I'm going to smudge it right underneath the outer third of my under eye here connect it to the wing just like this back and forth then with some more inferno on my refer number 14 I'm going to smudge the rest of the under eye area all the way to the tear duct area and right underneath underworld here to smoke it out I blended Underworld a little bit too much, so back with my Bobbi Brown eyeliner brush. This time dry, I didn't add any more mixing medium to it. I just went ahead and touched up right underneath here. For my waterline, I'm going to use my eyeliner in number 30 Marine. And with my refer number 28 and the color Sterling, I'm going to do the inner corner of my eye just like this right here blending it in a little bit all right i'm going to do one more thing and that is with the color underworld on my bobby brush i'm going to underline sterling through my crease Alrighty, I don't know about this. I think just because I've spent half an hour trying, <laughs> I'm going to leave it in this video. This is look number two. Let me do mascara and lashes. Hopefully it'll look better after I do that and I will be right back. Okay, back with lashes on and this is the final look number two. I'm going to stop doing the most for the rest of the looks because this took me way too long and while I kind of like where I was going with it, I think that trying to make the shadows perform as eyeliners with the mixing medium didn't work as well as I was expecting it to work. It looks a little bit more messy than I would like. So I don't know if I had to rate this look, I would give it like a 4.5 out of 10. <laughs> I don't love it, but hey, A for effort. Let's go ahead and move on to look number three. Let's go ahead and begin the third look. I have a little bit of mascara and maybe like eyeliner left right on my lash root from look number two, but I didn't want to irritate my eye um, by taking everything, everything off. And so let's just ignore that for a second and let's begin the third look. On my refer number one brush, I have the color Hedonistic, which is like a warm reddish type of color. And I'm going to put this one on the outer V of the eye through the crease right here. And I'm also going to place it on the innermost corner of the eye and blend it up through the crease. Alrighty, so just like this and now with my same number one brush but not adding any more product to it, I'm going to work on blending out my edges that I created. So this top edge right here, we want to make sure that it looks really nice and blended all around the crease area here. And Again, I didn't grab any more product. I'm just running my brush through the edges and that'll help blend it out. I'm just doing back and forth motions like this all throughout my crease with my refer number one. Back with a little bit more of that color just to intensify the outer corner a bit. And we have this nice wash all over the crease. Same brush and the color blue blood and I'm going to intensify the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye with it. Just like this. I'm first tapping my refer number one on the outer and the inner corner here. And now with no more product added to it, we're going to repeat what we did for step one, except this time we're not going to go as high so we're just going to go back and forth through the edges that we created until this blue blood color is blended into the color hedonistic so just running my clean brush through the edge i went ahead and grabbed the color sinful on the tip of my finger and i'm going to pat it over the space that i left with no product on it right here in the center of my eyelid and back with my number one brush i'm going to tap it nothing added on the edges of this color just tap 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 around the edges and that'll help it blend. These colors are very easy to blend into one another because they're all like metallic shimmers and those are just very blendable shades. So this is it right here. We've gone back to simplicity. This is the top of look number three. Let me be right back with some makeup around and we'll finish it up. Okay, back with some makeup on and I have the color Blue Blood on my refer number 13 brush and I'm just going to back and forth swipe it all under my eye. 
right down here back and forth with my refer number 13 and then with the same brush and the color hedonistic we are going to smoke that out right under the eye and then for the inner corner with my refer number 28 a little bit more of the color sinful and blend it in ever so slightly just like this alrighty so this right here is look number three and I'm starting to see the lights because <laughs> <laughs> I think so far out of the looks that I've made, um, this is my favorite one. Let me be right back with some mascara and some lashes on and I'll show you the final third look. Okay, back with mascara and lashes on and this right here is the final third look with the Decadence palette from Miss Pat McGrath. Like I said, I think this might be my favorite one so far. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say down in the comments section. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to look number four. Let's begin look number four with my refer number one brush and the color enigma and i'm going to blend it on the crease of the eye i think i'm going to do something similar to look number three but with other colors just because um that is what i've liked best so far with this palette so i think that i can combine different colors and get looks that i like doing halo eyes Okay, a little bit more of that color and just blend it on the crease. And now I'm going to use the color Underworld with that same brush to intensify the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye right here. And just like we did for look number three, I'm going to start blending out the edges with nothing added to my brush until they blend really nicely into our transition color and through the crease right here, connect them at the top. I grabbed a clean brush, nothing added, and I just diffused this upper edge right here. And now with a little bit more Enigma, I'm going to intensify the outer and inner corners of my eyelid. And once again with that clean brush, I'm going to blend it out just like this for the center of the eyelid i'm grabbing the color sterling and i'm going to just tap it right here in the center that looks really pretty okay i like that okay so that is that color sterling right there in the center and i'm going to do my face makeup i'll be right back and we'll finish up this look okay back with some makeup around and some more of the color sterling on my refer number 28 will go on the inner corner of the eye right here but also i'm going to put that color right through the center of my under eye right here in the center underneath my lower lash line and now with my refer number 13 i'm going to put the color underworld on the outer and inner corner of my under eye and then with my refer number one brush i'm going to blend the color enigma underneath it all just right here back and forth connect it back here at the end okay and in my waterline i just put some of my chanel eyeliner in number 30 marine so this right here is look number four before mascara or lashes let me go ahead and do some mascara and lashes and, and i'll be right back to show you the final look back with mascara and lashes on and this right here is the final fourth look with this palette somehow that color underworld looks pewter instead of the dark blue that it actually is which I'm confused by but um, it is what it is this is the fourth look with this palette this is me adding a little bit more of underworld with my finger here and it, see how it looks more blue maybe maybe I should have packed it on with my finger you know what I guess we're not done with look number four i'm gonna pack it on right there pack it on right here clean up this whoopsie pack it pack it okay i think this is a little bit more what i was going for i feel like when blending out the colors that blue had gone away and it just looked like a dark pewter but now it looks more um navy so it just has a little bit more contrast okay so this right here is the final fourth look with the decadence palette i definitely like it better once i intensified the color underworld Okay, let's begin the fifth and final look. The only color I haven't used in the previous four looks is the bright gold shade, the one that is called gold standard. So I'm going to try and incorporate that one into this look and I'm going to do like a gradient light to dark type of thing. That's the plan for now. Starting with the color hedonistic on my refer number one brush and I'm going to blend this one across the eyelid starting from the outer corner and bring in the color inwards actually not too far in so I'm just wiping it off with my finger a little bit and the eyeshadow primer I've used for looks 
2 through 5 is the Natasha Denona one, which I'm trying out per your guys' recommendation. And I've liked it, but I'm not sure if I like it more than the Rare Beauty one. I feel like I have to keep playing with both to make a decision. Okay, so this is what I have after I blended the color the way I wanted. Now with the same brush and the color Blue Blood, I'm going to start tapping the color on the outer corner of the eye. Still using my Refer number 1 brush right here. Okay, and I'm packing that color back here. I wiped off the brush a little bit and I'm just going to make sure that the colors blend. Just like that. For the center of my eyelid, I'm going to grab that color Gold Standard, which I think is my least favorite color from this palette, which I'm not sure why, because I usually love gold eyeshadows, but this is like a different type of gold. It has like a... I don't know if it's the undertone or it's too light of a gold or something, but I'm not in love with it. It has like a lime undertone almost, like too yellow. Back with a little bit more blue blood. Let me intensify this outer corner here and blend it in over the gold so that the colors blend into each other nicely, just like that. And for the inner corner, the color Sinful. Inner corner and blend it in. Mix it with that gold. Okay, just like this. This is the top of the fifth Look, let me put makeup around my eye and I'll be right back to finish it up. Back with some makeup on and I have the color Blue Blood on my refer number three and I'm going to smudge it on the outer corner of my lower lash line here. Back and forth with my pencil brush. Refer number 14 and the color Hedonistic and I'm going to blend that color all throughout my under eye area all the way to my tear duct here. Just back and forth with my fluffy small blending brush. Last but not least, back with the color Sinful, I'm just going to retouch my inner corner and just mix it down here until the tear duct area. Okay, here's the final fifth look with Mothership number four. Let me go ahead and show you guys with mascara and lashes on. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I also put a burgundy eyeliner in my waterline. This one is from L'Oreal. I'll link it below along with everything else that I used today. Okay, I'm back with mascara and lashes on and this right here is the final fifth look with this Decadence palette from Pat McGrath. So because I filmed the outro before I filmed all of the looks, let me give you guys all of my thoughts on this palette. I'm still wearing look number three, by the way, which I do think is my favorite one. So here are all of my thoughts. This was my ninth and last Pat McGrath palette to get because I just sort of had this feeling that I wasn't going to like it like I like the rest of them and I was right about that if I were to do a rankings video right now on all of my mothership palettes from Pat McGrath which by the way that will be coming at some point. This one would be number nine because it is my least favorite of them all. With that said, I'm not saying that it's a bad palette because truthfully, no Pat McGrath palette can be a bad palette. I think it's more so about personal preference. And to me, I think the worst thing about this palette is the fact that every single one of the shades has the same formula and the same shimmer. All of the formulas have a shimmer finish, not a glittery finish. They don't have dual chromes. They are just all shimmery there's no mattes either and so I feel like it's even though you can create dimension by using the different shades that the palette has I personally really enjoy not only layering um, colors but layering textures I love the way that a matte combines with a shimmer or that a glitter combines with a matte or that a matte combines with a shimmer you know I really love the dimension that having different textures in your eye look can create and with this one you guys saw throughout all of the looks that there isn't that type of dimension um, in the texture added to the looks um, because you can create dimension with the different tones but all of the shades have the same finish. So I think that is definitely my least favorite thing about this one. And then I would say that, you know, even though I did five looks only sticking to this one palette, because that is just kind of the overall concept of my five looks one palette videos is to just stick to the palette that you're using. I would maybe reach for these shades as an add-on to a look. Like let's say I'm using a different palette that has mattes and I want a teal palette pop of shimmer, I can get it from this palette. Or like a very light gold, I can get it from this palette. So maybe I'll use this palette for that reason, to like reach for it for specific colors. But I don't really see myself thinking, oh my god, I'm going out to dinner, let me reach for my Decadence palette because I'm going
going to create a beautiful look with it. Yes, I can create a beautiful look with it, but I just would prefer to create a look that has different textures and where I can combine mattes with metallics and dual chromes and shimmers, you know? That is what I think about this palette. While I like the shimmers individually, I just don't like the palette as a whole. And it is my least favorite Pat McGrath mothership palette specifically. Who do I recommend this for? I mean, if you're missing it from your collection and you just want to complete it, it might be worth it for you to spend the money on it. I'm happy that I now have all of the palettes. I'm happy that I was able to make this video for you and that I know exactly how each shade in each Mothership palette works and what I like and don't like about each palette, you know? For me as a makeup reviewer, it's definitely helpful, so I am glad that I bought it. So if you're a collector, maybe it would be worth it for you to have this palette. And then the the only other scenario in which I can see myself recommending this palette is if you just really love these shades that come in this one and you're someone who like likes to reach for a bunch of different palettes and play with a bunch of different palettes at once to create eye looks. I feel like you would get use out of using these shadows as single shadows, if that makes sense, combining it with other palettes. So yes, I think that is all I have to say about this one and I'm really hoping that that was helpful. Please let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are on this palette definitely let me know if you have it and you love it and I also am dying to know which look from one through five was your favorite one so please vote down in the comments I love you guys so so much this right here was my favorite look of the five. Don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!